And welcome to your Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, Thursday, the 17th of August. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's have a look at what's come across the news. Of course, US equities sold off overnight after a less dovish than expected FOMC minutes were released. But this continued the gloomy investor outlook, which has really been under pressure a little bit with bank downgrades from rating agencies, etc and the story of the China slowdown. However, US futures have moved just above neutral in Asian session towards the high of the day so far. Asian more, Asian markets are following that weak US lead, but the ASX, although down half a percent, is way off the lows of the session after weaker than expected jobs data may be intimate that the RBA may be likely to pause. European futures are still pointing to a lower open, though again off lows. VIX was up again yesterday, but near historically low levels still. The US dollar index finished higher again through its 200 EMA and at levels not seen since early June. As a result of this, we saw sell-offs in commodities. Gold breached 1900 and hit June lows. Copper also dropped further. Iron is at 12-week lows and all dropped for its fourth straight day and breached $80 on the WTI CFD contract. Bitcoin interestingly moved to the downside from the range it's been trading in for some time, it's now below 29,000 in Asian trading today. It'll be interesting to see if there's any follow through on that. And of course, final earnings numbers are due up this week in the US. We did have Australian jobs numbers weaker than expected out early this morning. That's put pressure on the US due to the downside and helped the ASX up as well. US weekly jobs and the Philly Fed manufacturing data are all due later. Couple of charts that caught our eye today. On the ASX, it is slim pickings, but we liked Young Coal. You can see there a post earning big candle, uh, which initially did move over 525, which we considered to be a key level. Doesn't look as though it's going to hold it today, though. So we'll check it out in the last hour of the day, but we need it above 525, and then that's got our eye possibly up to 550, maybe even. 575 in the medium term. Uh, the GB pound Australia has been an, on an interesting ride today. You can see we had a continuation of yesterday's weakness in today's session. Took us up to the R2 pivot of 199.40. But you can see there perhaps the market is feeling that's overcooked a little bit. You can see that sell off over the last couple of hours in this, heading back towards 198.77 perhaps. Uh, could be an entry possibly if it breaches 199, but certainly the higher probability trade if, is if it breaches the R1 level there that you can see. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.